Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, in this short video, I'm going to show you the latest uh, feature releases or updates in Dash 2.14.0, which is the latest Dash that was released on October 11 of 2023. In Dash 2.14.0, there are a couple of new things. One is that when you instantiate um, your Dash app, you do not need to use the underscore name the underscore. You don't need to declare it. You still need to use this line of code at the very end of your app, but you do not need to declare the underscore name. So before 2.14.0, you need to do it this way. If you have Dash 2.14 or higher installed on your computer, then you can declare or you instantiate your Dash app like this without this part. That's one update. Another update is for the multi-page app. I don't think this is applicable in a multi-page app. You will still need to use uh, underscore name underscore. But the new update that comes with dash 2.14.0 is the routing callback inputs. When you build a multi-page app with dash pages, as you probably know, you will have to say use pages true inside this part where you instantiate dash. So this is a normal multi-page app with multiple two pages inside the, the pages folder, right? And it looks like this. I'm going to show you how it looks. It's a normal multi-page app with a page one and then home page. But this new routing callback inputs feature uh, it comes with a dictionary or has to be assigned a dictionary and what it does it allows you to pass keyword arguments to the page layout function or better said to the pages layout function so here in their home page we have a layout function in the page one we have a layout function and now what you can do is you can pass these uh, values from the main app.py page directly into the layout function. So let's look at this example here. We're going to pass as an input, you can do input or state, whichever you prefer. As an input, we are going to take the value of this language ID. The language ID is, uh, refers to this dropdown and the value in this case is EN referring to the language English in this uh, drop down menu English so it's gonna the, the EN is gonna be assigned to is assigned to this value and this will be passed to the language chosen keyword argument of the layout functions so this EN will be passed right here language chosen like that and right here in page one in all the layout functions like that Right? And if we change, if we go here and we change our drop down to French FR, then this becomes, this FR becomes like this FR. And then if this becomes FR, then the language chosen in the layout will also become FR. And this will become FR. Right? Updating the language of our layout. One last example, we're going to take the data that we stored at the app.py file. This is a file that runs our whole app and starts our app. The data property, which in this case is DF, where is DF? DF is right here, just the IRS data set. So we're going to take the data property of this DCC store component and we're going to pass it right when the app first loads, we're going to pass it uh, into the store data keyword argument of the pages layout function. So data or DF is going to be now right here, DF, right? Now in this case it doesn't, we're not using, we have to put it inside the layout function because uh, we declared it in app.py, but here we don't do anything with it. In page one.py we actually do use it. Store data is actually DF and this is actually DF. So we use it to 
automatically uh, create a figure and display the figure inside our DCC graph right when the page first loads, assuming you're on page one. Refresh, you Im immediately have the graph because the store data is passed from the routing callback inputs. Cool. I hope this was, I hope this was helpful. I hope you learned a lot. Um, check it out. Do pip install dash or pip install dash equals equals 2.14.0. Until next time.